Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, I'm very serious. Yellowstone Danger Zone! Yes, this super volcano could erupt much faster than anyone thought. Now, I can tell you, this, this summer I was in a, a, a convention actually listening to a climatologist, an oceanologist. He was both. Who'd worked for Jacques Cousteau. Remember him? And he said that the super volcano at Yellowstone National Park, he said it's not a question of if it's going to erupt, but when it's going to erupt. Because he said it is going to erupt. The question is, is it in 200 years or in 200 days? Because he said right now, we don't know. Well, there's a report just now published uh, at uh, Yahoo News. It says Yellowstone supervolcano could erupt much faster than anyone thought. There's a dangerous giant sitting dormant in the United States. But it, I don't think it's dormant no more, folks. It just broke the record for, for number of earthquakes than in a short period of time. I mean, it's over 2,500 earthquakes since June the 12th. This dangerous giant is sitting in the United States. And when it finally wakes up, and it has... It has the potential to cause utter devastation. And of course, this is the super volcano hidden beneath Yellowstone National Park. And while it's long been thought to of any hint of a possible eruption would be seen thousands and thousands of years in advance, new research has thrown this into somewhere maybe within a little as a decade or decades. Well, the research which was presented uh, at the Volcanology Conference in Portland, Oregon, focused on the most recent eruption of the volcano. They thought this happened somewhere in the, you know, 631,000 years ago. We're talking about in the dawning of the creation. But there's no question it's alive. It's alive and it's well. And it's earthquakes and the magma is moving and rising and the herds of animals are fleeing. And a couple years ago, the roads in the park were melting. Uh, there's just no question that this super volcano has awoken. And the question is, when will it fully erupt? This much more rapid time, fr time frame between dormancy and eruption is obviously very troubling, but not surprising to me. Because I actually read in the book of Peter, in 2 Peter chapter 3, it really talks about this incredible uh, event that's coming upon the earth that Peter talks about and tells us it really sounds like one of two things. A deep impact from, a, uh, from an asteroid and or both a super volcano erupting uh, from the earth. Let me just read to you what it says. It has to do with the coming of the Lord. And it says in 2 Peter chapter 3, uh, this second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance, that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. But that's not true. For this they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of God, the heavens were of old and the earth was standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto the fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. And that's really true when it comes to a super volcano for God could turn what men think would be thousands of years before an eruption into just 
days before an eruption, and same thing the way God measures time, all right? Now, the Lord is not slack concerning his promises. Some men count slackness, but he's long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. All right. So this is a temporal world we're in, folks. It's a temporal world. And the question is, are you ready to meet the Lord? We're running out of time. And uh, this is why I have this DVD series called Rapture Ready. I just thought of it just as we were sitting here. I keep these all sitting over here. The reason is because a lot of people keep saying, okay, I hear about the rapture or the coming of the Lord. And, and what does it all mean? And I took my time to put together this great teaching series uh, in this DVD is powerful called Rapture Ready. What is the rapture? When is the rapture? And who's going in the rapture? We answer all those questions millions of people are asking as we're truly living in the last days. Will Yellowstone erupt? My, my answer would be yes. And I think it will be at the last day. But maybe not. Maybe sooner. Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're running out of time.